how do organisms reproduce variations are we identical or similar let us study how we derive these traits from our parents ever wondered why you resemble one of your family member well you could have the same facial characteristics or the stature resemblance to one of them well let us explore this interesting fact as we take you on this amazing journey of reproduction the dna or the deoxyribonucleic acid in the cell nucleus is responsible for the transmission of the traits from one generation to the other take a look at the replication of the dna shown graphically here we know that during meiosis the chromosomes form the chiasmata or the crossing over that helps to transfer the traits from one generation to the other however the offspring are not identical to their parents but similar what causes these changes or why the offspring are not the identical copy of their parents well over a period of time the organisms that we see today have adopted themselves to their surroundings any drastic change occurring in the surrounding or the habitat will kill the organism if they fail to adapt this ability to successfully adapt to the surrounding is passed on to the next generation which makes them fit for survival in adverse conditions these changes that the organism adapt is called as variation before we proceed Let us define reproduction. Reproduction, the ability of an organism to give birth to one of its own kind, either sexually or asexually, is called as reproduction. Let us study the types of reproduction. Reproduction is of two types: sexual and asexual. Let us study the asexual type of reproduction. Asexual reproduction is of four types, namely fission, regeneration, fragmentation, budding. Fission in unicellular organisms like amoeba, cell division or fission leads to creation of new individuals. Some other organisms like leishmania undergo binary fission in a definite orientation. in relation to the whip like structure that they possess at one end of the cell other organisms like the plasmodium divides into many daughter cells simultaneously by multiple fission let us move on to the second type of asexual reproduction regeneration in regeneration if the individual is broken or cut into many pieces then each piece has the potential to grow into separate individual This is seen in planaria. This is called as regeneration. Regeneration is performed by specialized cells. These cells proliferate and make large number of cells. These cells undergo differentiation to form various types of cells and tissues. Now, the third type of asexual reproduction, fragmentation. in multicellular organisms where the body structure is simple simple reproductive methods can still work spirogyra for example simply breaks into smaller pieces upon maturation these fragments grow into new individuals let us move on to the fourth type of asexual reproduction budding organism like hydra use regenerative cells for reproduction in hydra a bud develops as an outgrowth due to repeated cell division at one specific site these buds develop into tiny individuals and when they fully mature and detach from parent body to become a new independent individual vegetative propagation there are many plants in which parts like the root stem and leaves develop into new plants under appropriate conditions this property of vegetative propagation is used in methods such as layering or grafting 
to grow many plants like sugarcane, roses or grapes from agricultural purposes. Such plants raised by vegetative propagation can bear flowers and fruits earlier than those produced from seeds. Another benefit of vegetative propagation is that all plants produced are genetically similar. Spore formation In many simple multicellular organisms, specific reproductive part can be identified. Example, bread mold. The threads like structure are called the hyphae. The tiny blob on a stick structure are called sporangia. These sporangia contain cells or spores that eventually develop into new rhizopus individuals. The spores are covered by thick walls that protect them until they come in contact with another moisture surface and can grow. Summary Reproduction unlike other life processes is not essential to maintain the life of an individual organism. Reproduction involves creation of a DNA copy and additional cellular apparatus by the cell involved in the process. Various organisms use different modes of reproduction depending on their body design. In fission, many bacteria and protozoa simply divide into two or more daughter cells. Organisms such as hydra can regenerate if they are broken into pieces. They can also give out buds which mature into new individuals.